In this episode of the Portage Health Foundation Addiction Series, we learn about the devastating cycle addiction can have. I'm Sarah Blakely, Morning News co-anchor at TV6 and your host for this series. Today we'll hear again from Nikki Collins, Houghton Chief of Police John Donnelly, and Dr. Adam Frimadig from UP Health System. You know, I think about it now, I was like 13 years ago, and I mean, that was a while ago, but then I always say, you know, I'm here in recovery now, but the active addiction is hustling out there. It's working overtime. When we go to bed at night, addiction never sleeps. It continues around the clock. So we, I always say when we're going to bed, we're losing time. We're losing time um, on fighting against active addiction. When we go to a, a retail fraud, a shoplifter at Walmart, um, you know, 80 to 90% of the time, it is um, it is somebody that's struggling with addiction. We've had them going out with uh, over $1,000 worth of merchandise, which they actually have a list from other addicts that they're stealing to try to try to support their habits. When we talk about the idea of addiction being a disease, and we talked about that that the brain actually functions differently. So there's gen in general, there's two main areas of the brain that we worry about. There's a central area of the brain, hippocampal area and substance nigrans. And this being in the middle of the brain is where we have our most vital necessities of life. So when we're hungry, when we're cold, anything that your body says, you need to do this to survive. And people will do whatever they did. So in old times, when people would harvest food and it wasn't available, people would steal food to provide for their family. Even though they knew it was wrong, they have to do it because their mind says, you need this to survive. Well, in the setting of substance abuse, a patient will develop kind of a switch, we'll call it just to make it easy, for whatever substance that is, whether it's opioids or alcohol. When that switch is on because you've been using and it's not being fulfilled when you've actively just used it, it's saying, I need this to survive. Do whatever you can to survive. So the people that are stealing, um, ignoring their children, um, driving under the influence, it's not because they're bad people and they just want to do this to continue the habit. It's because their mind and their body is saying, you need this to survive. And when that switch is on, it's a losing battle. Almost nobody can fight that. Um, and that's where we talk about getting an inpatient and get help. But the other area of the brain that's very important in this disease is the frontal temporal area of our brain. And that's where we have our rational and critical thinking. So that's the part that says, hey, do you remember when you spent a year in jail for that DUI and you got your license removed and you had $5,000 in fines and you're hungover every morning? That time was a really rough time. Let's not go back to that and don't start drinking. And when you're sober and that switch in the middle of your brain is off, the front part of the brain can win that. But the problem is, as soon as they have a few bad days in a row and they just say, I don't know what to do. I'm going to go back to taking a pain pill or drinking a beer because that made me feel better before. And that switch turns back on. They're right back down that cycle. Remember, addiction never sleeps. Even if you don't think about it or hear about it for a little while, it's still out there wreaking havoc on our community. Thanks to Nikki, Chief Donnelly, and Dr. Frimadig for their insight. Dr. Frimadig will be back in Episode 7 to talk about medical treatments available to those suffering from addiction. If you or someone you know is struggling with addiction, know that there are resources available in our community. Dial Help is a great place to start. They have a crisis line 24 hours a day, seven days a week, based right here in the Copper Country. Just dial 906-482-HELP, text 906-35-NEEDS, or chat live with someone at dialhelp.org. If you're in any kind of medical emergency, dial 911 immediately. To learn more about the resources available in our community or to subscribe for email alerts for future episodes, just visit phfgive.org slash addiction.